Hello everyone, this is Zukumani here. So, back on the PTR, out in the Isles of the Thunder King, and uh, I came across this NPC. He's called Etoka, I think is how you pronounce it anyway, and he's the Master of the Forge. Now, a while ago, back when Blizzard was first talking about the uh, 5.2 patch notes, they mentioned offhand that doing quests will unlock a powerful lightning forge, which will allow blacksmiths to forge mighty raid-worthy weapons, as well as classic weapons from the past. So, after seeing this guy on the PTR, I decided to fight him, and his mechanics, he actually has phases to his fights, and it looks like it might be a future group quest that will eventually come out in 5.2. Um, at the moment, though, it is soloable. Uh, you just need to sort of um, dodge his attacks, really. Dodge the little uh, lightning orbs that are on the ground. And then every 25%, he'll sort of become immune to all damage that, it's, that it's taken. And you have to go around to each one of these little areas and click on the, um, I guess, the crystal where the lightning is sort of being discharged from. That's protecting him. I'm just going to show you real quick. If you jump into the actual like lightningy, like lightning clouds in the um, on the floor there, it actually does quite a lot of damage, like over 60k every two three seconds, which I was very surprised to see. Also, the little orbs that are going around, they also deal about 15,000 damage every second that, that, that you're within it. Uh, so, if you have two orbs sort of coming, meeting each other, uh, and you're standing in the middle, uh, you can take quite a lot of damage from it. This first attempt here on it, I, I didn't quite get it. I uh, he reset on me because I took too long, I guess. But uh, so I ended up going for a evocation spec with the evocation heal. So I was able to just heal myself on the fly, and then I was just able to steamroll over it pretty much. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting to see him implemented in the game already. I mean, his mechanics are kind of fun. Uh, his damage that he does is really weak, but uh, his lightning damage it hurts a lot. Um, the actual other world boss, uh, world raid boss that is available, but um, not for testing at the moment. He actually flies around this area up in the sky, and this NPC actually calls out to him calls out to him for protection, and that's how the whole lightning shield uh, sort of thing happens. But yeah, I thought it would make a little video on it, just to sort of show you guys what I've been doing on the PTRs. Um, any little things like this that I ever see coming up in the future, I'll be sure to get more uh, information on. But uh, I really do believe that this guy is the is at least one of the keys, or one of the factors, in unlocking the lightning forge for your, uh, for your server. Now, I've sped up the footage here to two times speed, just to sort of show you guys how it is to completion. The fight itself is just rinse and repeat, just making sure you don't die to silly stuff. Anyway, once he's dead, once everything's over, um, there's this little area to the left of the screen right now, which shows, um, I'm going to assume, is what the Lightning Forge will look like. Now, uh, it's very... It's very pretty in here. I mean, it looks like a giant obsidian orb up in the sky. There's lightning that's being conducted to it, which is shooting down to these, uh, I guess, lightning rods, which is connected to the actual forge itself. Um, this, uh, I, I would be, I would be quite surprised if this is not the place where blacksmiths have to come and forge the weapons and everything like that. Anyway, guys, uh, my name is Zuku Money. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.